everybody. I have got um, a couple of thousand business cards. These are all business cards um, for my day job, but they are no longer correct. We had some changes and they're not usable anymore. And um, so, I can we just throw them away? Well, you know, we can't throw anything away, especially, I mean, look, these are really good paper. I don't know if you can see that, but these are really good paper. Um, and they're only printed on one side. So I brought them home rather than throw them away and I was trying to come up with something to do with them. Um, and so I got the idea to jelly print them. And I have a stack of them here, here we go, to jelly print them. And I think they turned out really cute. Um, I can stamp these, I can use them as backgrounds, I can collage them, use them with ATCs, um, punch them, whatever. Uh, and I've got a ton of them, but I didn't want to spend time doing one at a time. So here's what I came up with. Um, I have some contact paper. And for those of you not in the United States, contact paper is shelf paper. Um, it's a low tack plasticky paper, um, that, uh, we put inside drawers and kitchen cabinets, you know, so you've got a, sur a wipeable surface between your stuff you're putting in your kitchen cabinet and your wood cabinet. Okay. So hopefully that's enough of an, inf enough information, excuse me, for y'all to be able to figure out what this is everywhere else. But here, that's what we call it. We call it contact paper. So I cut them into eight by 10 sizes and all you've missed me doing is so that I wasn't putting the business card information out there. Um, I put, uh, let's see, sunny day, graphite gray and antique white down just basically to cover the text. That's all that was to do. Okay. Uh, the only thing different between printing this and anything else you're going to print on a jelly print, I would say, is that this has to be way wetter. Um, the contact paper is low tack to start with. And uh, I'm just trying to get some of this excess off. And uh, the jelly plate is pretty sticky. I mean, you can hear it every time I pull this up. It, it's pretty sticky. So you want your contact paper to be stickier than your plate. Otherwise, um, it's going to want to stick to the plate. The cards are going to want to stick to the plate and not the contact paper. This one that's laying here, I thought at first that I'd need it to be even lower tack. And so I took this one and I put it against my shirt um, to make it even lower tack. And it was too low. I could not, it would not pull the cards anymore. So don't do anything to make your contact paper less Tack. You need it where it is. All right, so on this one, I think I'm going to use purple and orange, which I'll give you the real names. Uh, Wild Iris by Apple Barrel and Tropic Orange by Apple Barrel. And these are just those cheap craft paints. Um, that's kind of what I like to use on my jelly plate. And mix them up. I don't want them to totally mix them, so I am doing a lot of lifting if you're hearing it bounce and stuff. Um, I want them to smear more than mix. All right, clean this off. And then if you watched my trash, trash or treasure video the other day, uh, this is the box that somebody gave me, but I said I couldn't wait to try out the texture on the bottom on my jelly plate. Well, here we go. And this is what I've used on all of these because I really did like it. Um, I think it is really cool. And it doesn't um, even go every time the same way because um, they are, um, it's, it's a little concave on the bottom and you have to push it to get the pattern there. Yeah, this is still wet. 
But here I'll show you with the excess. I'm just gonna stick it on here. And then so I get a good print, I'm just gonna turn it over, grab it. I'm not sure what's in the frame. I'm using my tablet again. I still have not figured out my Geek Pro. Um, I figured out how to use my Geek Pro. I haven't figured out how to get my Geek Pro to download. So yeah, I have an expensive camera just sitting in the office waiting for me to figure out how to use it. Uh, and there's my pattern if you get the full pattern. And isn't that cool? So I'm really enjoying playing with this. Uh, let's see if I can get one more out of it. Because it still looks kind of wet, especially in that center. All right, so there's that. And then what you want to do is just like any normal pull, you're just going to put it on here. But it is way wetter than normal. And I've already told you, you need it that way. That's not a oops. All right, so get this stuck on here. And then my cards, they didn't fit exactly. And that's great because it helps me kind of get it started coming up. Um, and then I just cut them off the parts that aren't printed um, when I get done and it's dry. So I'm just kind of going to, and I kind of pull it up and toward me at the same time. And voila, isn't that cool? So the ghost print, we'll go ahead and try to pull it. Um, the ghost print is what I've had the most trouble with. And that's because you're getting to that point of the jelly plate being stickier than the contact paper. Um, and uh, I've got paint oozing everywhere here. And it wants to stick to it. And if it does, just stick your finger in there and kind of help the card get started and you'll be okay again. It does mean your fingers get pretty nasty, but they get bad doing jelly plates normally anyway. Oh, see, there we go. Just get him started. Get him started. Get him started. Yeah, see, all of these are sticking. I'm just going to get them started again. Maybe pull more this way as I go there. Um, but it's still a really cool print. In fact, I think this print looks better than that one. Um, so I have got a ton of these. Um, I mean, as you saw, so I'm going to come up with some other things to do with them. But in the meantime, there's idea number one. This one's dry, so I'll just go ahead and show you. Um, I just turn it over. The bottoms of them aren't printed. So just cut them off. Toss these. And then um, I just pull these off and put new ones on as I go. So as I pull one off, I'll put a new one on. And voila, you have an entire set of really cool, um, and they could be just business cards again. You know, if I wanted to use these as business cards for my art, I could just print on little sticky labels my information and stick them on here and maybe doodle around the label or something. And I've got cute business cards for my business. Uh, although I don't even really say my art's a business at this point, but you know what I mean. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you try it. And when I come up with another idea for all these business cards, I'll let you know. Bye.